Everything is locked up. I can't move the tool. I can't move the paper. I'm the CNC repairman. Are you the central belt? I'm going to show you how the Niagara Falls tool is locked. Let's talk about tool release piston pushout. What is it? It's the amount that the drawbar and the piston push out when the tool is unclamped. What affects it? Air pressure, where the tool release piston is sitting on top of the drawbar, shim wise, it affects it if the drawbar is all messed up and the washers are all broken. Usually, no one needs to change this, unless the spindle is replaced, a drawbar is replaced, or a tool release piston, or say the spindle motor on an inline machine is replaced. So let me show you how to check it. You're gonna need a block of aluminum or a soft jaw, steel would even be fine, and a piece of paper, just like we're gonna set a manual tool offset. So jog Z up to get it away, then use your paper like you're setting an offset and bring it down just until the paper touches. Now, if you're familiar with the control, go ahead and Z origin. You're just gonna page down on the position page, select Z, hit origin. Now we can jog 100 thou straight up above the block. Now here's the values. Here's the range of values that should be for the push out. Now that's whether it's an inline belt drive, one TRP sensor, two TRP sensors. It should be tight around 100, even up to 110, and it should be loose all the way up to 130. So it could be tight 120, 125, 130. If it's still tight at 130, we're gonna need to remove some washers. And if it's sloppy loose at 100 thou above, we're gonna need to add some washers or shims if it's an inline. So we're gonna jog 100 thou above the paper, come over here, you have a tool in here with no cutter and hit the tool unclamp button. Everything is locked up. I can't move the tool, I can't move the paper. So let's go to 110. Now I'm gonna unclamp it again. Tight, everything is locked up. That's within range. Let's go to 120. So now I hear a little bit of air coming out. That's coming out around the taper of the spindle and I can move this tool and I can move the paper a little bit. I can feel it. Now don't move it so much that the dogs get off. Then go ahead and let it reclamp. So we are loose at 120. Let's back it off a couple of thou. We'll try 117. We're still loose there. Let's try 115. Still loose there. There's 113. 113, it's getting tight. 110, solid. So you might have to adjust this if you've, like I said, replaced some things or if you think something is wrong, it's a quick check to come down and just with some paper feel how loose is my push out. It's much more complicated on a larger, more expensive machine when it has a fast double arm and it's got a double fork and it holds the drawbar. Pushouts are very precise. On these type of machines, it's a pretty wide range and I don't think you're gonna need to be adjusting it, but I wanted to show you what it is. I've had a few people ask me, so how do you check it and how do you adjust it? That's how it is. Thanks for watching. I hope you appreciated this video. If you wanna know more, check out our other videos and you can support me by buying things from CNC replacement parts.